Hello traders, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I want to explain about the question. Someone has a question, how do you trade new high, new low? I think I upload a video yesterday and in the comment, I received two questions. The first question was, uh, what are the conditions of trading of choosing the bullish candle when you are trading the zone and second question is uh, how to trade new high new low okay well i'm going to answer only one question which is the second question because the first question i think i have replied the person that asked the question so it should the person should specify i uh, what kind of bullish candle am I talking about? What kind of bullish candle he, he or she talking about? Which uh, trade that I choose the bullish candle? I mean, just to specify how I choose the bullish candle so that we explain more. Then I'm going to answer the second question, which is uh, how to trade new high, new low. Okay. And this is the video of the new high, new low of trade of trading new high new low so you can go and watch it okay first thing first uh this is the first trade i took here so i took this trade because if you observe the market movement we have some price structure okay market went up went down went up again went down okay this is low this is high when price break the previous high, it creates new high. When price create a low, this is low. This is also low. Then price again break the previous high. This is new high. So all these are hold high. Then price went down, created same low. Okay, this is also a low support level. Then price now break the low and it create a new low the price create a new low so the reason why I go with sellers because the price has already break the low okay that is why I go with sellers here then if you look at this trade here I'm going to explain to you how to trade new high new low in different two different way first if you see the market approaching the high market is moving up then the last candle forms something like this the market creates high then the next candle was also a green candle form something like this break the high form something like this then close like this the market creates new high new high so this is new high so in most case in most situation like this the next candle will be a green candle this is the first thing that market this is how you can trade new high same thing with new low if you are trading in a downtrend okay so another way you can trade new high and new low is this using multiple candle market move up down it create the high the market went up again create the low so price have already break this high this is high then once price once price retrace back it creates new high okay so definitely most of the time the market is already retrace back to this previous high then this is when you can start buying or call your trade so in this video i'm going to explain step by step how you can trade new high new low no now if you look at this market now so price went down up down up down up down again 
down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, as you can see clearly, that is how the market is moving down. This is a downtrend. So now, how do you not trade new low in a downtrend? For instance, this is the high. The market went down, created a low. This is the low. Okay, this low. So as the price retraced back, it break the low. So what happened when the price returned back to the previous low? It returned back to this previous low here. This is the old low. This is the new low. Okay. So this is the old old low. This is the new low. So when price return back to the old low, this is where we see some sellers entry. You can see the price drop down. You can see sellers enter the market. Okay. The price retrace back. Strong candle. The market will pass. Again, we have a rejection. The market also reverse. So when price now went down again, all the way to this level right here, it created a low. Perhaps created two, two lows, making the support area. So when price returned back, it break the low, it retraces back to this to the previous old low. The market starts reversing to the downside. Okay. So when price again creates this low, went down, reject from the old low, then went down again. So that is how you trade new low, new high. Okay. So all you have to do is recognize the market structure. How you can identify the market structure. Okay, so these are the low. Okay, the low. Then if you look at it very well, anytime the price break the low, this is a downtrend. Anytime the price break the low, the market usually reverse to the downside. Okay, so in binary option, what you have to do is make trade the first attempt when the price touches the. For instance, this is a downtrend. The market reverse break the low. And then the market made the first attempt to test the low. So once the price tests the low, you see some sellers entry. So that is your first attempt. Do not trade the second attempt. Sometimes the market violates the low, the level in the second attempt. Okay. Market also rejects, close down, and then reverse, reject from the level. Here also, market break the low, reverse, reject. The market also break the low, first attempt. Market break the low, first attempt. Market break the low, first attempt. See the second attempt. When the second attempt, the market did not reverse the second attempt. Okay, which means the first attempt is should be your priority when you are trading new high, new low. So the second attempt, the market decided to break the level. And that is when the market change direction to the upside. So what I mean is that if if the market is rejecting from this low, when the price pull back, and if the market also make the second attempt to return to that high to that level, if there's no reversal, it indicates that market is ready to push higher. That is what happened here. Okay, so sometimes. When you are trading this pattern, you trade immediately the price break the low. But sometimes you wait for the price to make a bullish pullback or bullish retracement. Okay? Because this is like a correction and an impulsive wave. This is impulsive wave, correction, impulsive correction. So correction most of the time usually be a single bullish candle or it can be multiple candles okay so 
if the market break the low sometime you open a trade after the breakout or sometime you have to wait for the price to return back to the low to the level then you place your trade so but i will only recommend you you should wait for a retracement if the market did not retrace do not take the trade okay do not open any trade if the market did not retrace okay because chances are chances chances are the market usually correct the trend once the price correct the trend then you can open the trade and do not trade counter trend what i mean is that you expect the price to reverse after the breakout do not trade like that it's not good to trade like that do not trade counter trend if the market is moving down you trade in the direction of the trend which means trading after correction so this is how you trade new high new low now let me go back to the video and let's see So this is why I go with sellers. Sometimes like this, this is just a this is what my this trade was my luck. Okay. I took I won this trade because of luck. Because sometimes you have to wait for the price to make a correction before you enter the trade. But this I open the trade exactly immediately the price break the low. Okay. So it's very risky. So I would advise you always wait for correction before you open any trade when you are trading in the direction of the trend so because the price break the low that is why i go with sellers Now look at this. Look at this trade. Market create the low, went up, create the high. Okay, the price went down, create the low, went up, break the previous high. So immediately the price break the previous high, we see uh, a correction candle. So when price break the previous high, we see a correction candle. That is why I decided to go. With buyer sometimes when you see a correction candle you must pay attention to the type of candlestick that form always observe the candlestick that form a correction candle okay do not don't just place your trade blindly this is a marbles let me just say a shaven bottom candlestick a shaven bottom candlestick then candlestick close at the low is a sign the market is ready to reverse if you have to draw a line at this high this should be your line so if market should retrace it should be exactly at this point but a shaven bottom candle closes below the line is a sign the market is ready to move up okay so the reason why i think i go with bias here let me check i go with bias on this trade okay i think i go with bias on this trade and i think the next candle was also a green candle so let me check think yes i think the next candle was also a green candle because i expect the price to continue because of the trend continuation pattern 
This is a Sorry guys, that is a advertisement. Because this is a trend trend continuation pattern. Okay? A trend continuation pattern. So I expect the price to go up. That is why I took a call trade on this next candle. Now, what I did here is that I was looking at the chart. Market move up, down, created the low, break the high, new high. Then we have high, new high again. The market drop. It did not break the high. Then start reversing. The market break this low. When, once price break this low, what do you expect the next market? To, what do you expect the market to do? Well, I did expect the price to go down. Okay, but in this case, I observed something. Okay, in this case, I observe the market is, if you look at this pattern, this uh, price movement, it seems the market is moving like this. Okay, and then we have the previous downtrend. In a situation like this, the market is likely to continue to downside. But when I saw this rejection, I think I remember this trade. When I saw this rejection, I knew that that is not what the market is likely to do. The first, can, the first time the price is moving down, it's uh let me explain when the price was moving down breaking this low it formed a green a red candle but before the candle will close it closed as a green candle so when the candle closed as green candle and together with this strong bearish movement it indicate the price will still go more down because it has already created a new low this is the previous low this is the new low. So definitely, I expect the price to go more down. That is why I go with sellers on the next candle. So you have to pay attention to new low, new high when you are trading binary option. The reason why I go with buy and sell was because of the candle, okay? Because of the candle, where if you look at it very well, this is hold low. Then this candle form, Marbozu candle, full Marbozu candle, shaven top and shaven bottom. So I think I go with buyers because I was expecting a correction, okay? I was expecting a correction. Definitely is not the trading is not how you should trade a uh, trend continuation but this i go with bias because is a because of this candle okay because of this candle so this type of candle is, is seem to be a reversal sign okay I think that is the end of the trade. Okay, I think that was the end of the trade. Now, there's one thing I want to let you guys know when you are trading uh, new high, new low. If you, are, if you want to trade new high, new low, always follow the trend. Always trade in the direction of the trend. If you see a downtrend, then you should be trading when the price breaks the new low. Do not trade counter trend. It's very risky. What I mean is that if the market is going down, the market breaks this low, 
do not expect the price to go down always wait for correction okay trade if the price corrects so this should be where you should enter the trade sometimes the market might just close above the line so still expect the price to reverse okay so always trade in the direction of the trend do not trade counter trend expecting the price to go down once candle close here it's very risky okay let me see here some other charts and let me explain about the new high new low if any okay this is low This is high so when price break the high you see a correction wait for a correction sometimes you can see one single a single candle correct or you can see multiple candle correct so you trade then look at the candlestick that form rejection okay rejection so bias enter on the next candle okay price also create the high the market reject so sometimes you will see multiple candles before the market reverse price also create this high so all you have to do is wait for the price to break the high make a correction do not trade once the price break the high wait for correction then place your trade so that is how you trade new high new low trade in the direction of the trend Okay, guys, see you in my next video. If you like my video, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.